guys, I am Isa, and today we're going to play a video game which called Lua. So, anyways, we're still going to play the first thing we need to do is to install Lua. So, we're going to open up a terminal. So, to install Lua, let's see what type of package manager you're using. So, pac man. S Y Lua. So that should install Lua. But I already have it installed, so I don't want to need this command. So, anyways, the next thing we have to do is install the IDE we want to use. So the IDE that I'm going to use is Neo. It's called NeoVim. So, install that. Let's install Pac Man. S Neo Vim. So then to run the new to run Neo Vim, we want the N Vim command. So So I'm just run it. Okay, before I run it, I want to CT into Documents and I'm going to see the into another folder I made called Lua Tutorials. So if I don't alas, so that so let's just say Envim introduction dot Lua. So now it's opened a new file. So now in the open. So if you want to write text, so currently if you write text, it doesn't do anything. So you have to write I. So go to insert mode. In insert mode, in insert mode, you can write text. You can just say print. So we use prints to print out text. So now let me press ESC to go back to insert mode, and then just write the column and save. And then they have the file. So introduction. Dot to Google. So now, if we want to run the file, so so to, to run the file, I'm just going to cd into that place. So I'm going to say Lua introduction dot Lua. Now print out the text. I'm just going to say clear and introduction, introduction dot Lua. So it's going to clear out the screen before it displays, you know, the tutorial. So so always we just maximize it. So, next thing we're going to learn is variables, or variables. But to make a variable, you have to type in the variable's name, an equal sign, and the variable's content. So there are three types of variables, well there are three fundamental types of variables. The first one, the first one is string. So I'm just going to make a tag which says string. So the tag doesn't actually affect your code. It's just, you know, some piece of text. It doesn't do anything. So to make a tag, you write these two dashes. And to make a multi-line tag, you write these two brackets. And the end of multi-line ta tag was these two brackets. So, so we're going to make a variable called name. 
So, and strings, like put two quotation marks, could be double quotation marks or single quotation marks. So, you can, so what the, let me get single quotation marks. So, this software, for this type is called a string. This thing, this type is called a string. It's so like this is a string, this whole world is a string. So, now if you want to print out a variable, just say, oh, and then, so if you want to join a string with another string, write dot dot. So, oh, dot dot name. So now let me just save it. There's just that. But there has to be a space in between them. So what I'm going to do is that I'm just going to add a space in here. So I want to save it. Now shows that. So anyways, um, the other type of variable is an, an integer int so it's just called int so I'm going to say age equal to so an integer it's just any number so it can be any number and it can be addition or subtraction or any of those mathematical operators. So if I say 4 plus 5, so let me just tag this out. Let's say print age. So if I save it, it says 4 plus 5. And Next one is the boolean, or just called bool. So the bool is is either true or false. So that's it. So I'm going to say make a boolean called isn't male. And say equal to true. Well, it's equal to true. So, I'm going to say print is male. So, I'm going to receive it. It says true. Well, but if we try to join the is male, which is a boolean, with the name, which is a string, it's not going to work. So, Put name dot dot is male and I save it. Then we run it. It will just show an error. So that error is saying that we're trying to join a string with a boolean. If we try it with an integer, so let's say we try it with the a variable. It's not going to show any errors. And the reason for this is because, well, Lua, if you join a string with an integer, convert the integer to a string using the, the string method, just to the, the, the string function. So, if I wanted to print, so if I wanted to print uh, a string named the boolean. Well, we'll have to use this two string function. The two string is male. So it just converts whatever is inside of it into a string. So, anyways, if I save it again and run it, it shows what was expected. So, anyways, 
that's the end of today's tutorial. If you've enjoyed, give me a like and subscribe. So bye.